It is May, and it is cold, and the warmth is on the horizon. Somewhere in southern Connecticut, we are all dead. Life is sucked from the soil and spat into the waves of the Long Island Sound. The world is painted in grays, browns, and muddy greens. In spite of some brief glimpses of life, we are an epicenter of death. On the cusp of rebirth, but nevertheless in desperate need of something to defibrillate our near decrepit corpse. In times like these, we look to Dimwit. fuck is dimwit? A stupid person. A blockhead, bonehead, dull, dullard, dunce, fool, numbskull, moron, imbecile, birdbrain, goon, clodpole, nimrod, mug, saphead, simpleton, stock, oaf, pinhead, ratbag, turkey, nut, stupid. To be a dimwit is to be stupid. We are all stupid. We are all dimwit. But what does it mean? It's a bit of something old. with something new. All of it's borrowed. Because everyone's blue. What's the matter? Not right now, man. Dude, I'm too busy. Come on, you can talk to me about anything. It's this fucking camera, dude. I've been working in it for like three hours now. The tape door won't shut. The thing as a whole isn't shutting. The, the, I don't even have the battery with me. I don't even know where it fucking went. Sounds like a whole big mess you have there. Just smacking it around? Throw it against the wall? I've been smacking it around since last Saturday. Have you even kick it? Of course I've kicked it, dude. I kicked yeah. it like freaking 30 yards, dude. Let me see that. No use. That's a fucked up camera if I've ever seen one. Now what am I gonna do? Sit around, twiddle my thumbs? I know. Have you ever tried this? <laughs> Canon GL2? GL2. But those are like a million bucks. I know, the latest prototype. I can't, Make ends meet. I can't take this. This is a skate camera. Yeah, well, you can skate your way to success. I can't skate for shit. Sometimes, I like to skate. Or at least I think I like it. 
because at this moment in time, I've probably spent more hours invested in the videos, music, games, art, and photos, and thinking about skating than actually skateboarding. So I figured let's try and change that. Let's try to get to the level where I can pass off almost as not being a poser. I think there's two tricks that hold this threshold, that guard this boundary between total beginner and competent, moving ollie, and dropping in. I'm sure many actual skate enthusiasts really disagree with my take. So let's see. With videographer Carter by my side, we hustled to the local skate park, only to immediately find two expert skaters to give us their input. So like what were, if you had to pick like two, like, tricks for skateboarding that would, you know, make you like not a poser, you know what I mean? Like, if you, if you can do them, then you're like a good skateboarder, what would you say? Do you have like any? Probably, you name them, you name them. Which very okay foot? Like, when you... Do like a fakie, yeah. and you do like a no, nollie fakie. Nollie fakie? And do a kickflip. Nollie, nollie fakie and kickflip? Yeah. Word. You got any, any input? Or... <laughs> That's cool Go though. off that. Off that? You do it first. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I thought. What did we learn today? I can't skate for shit. I don't care what that stupid test says, Bart. You're a dimwit. Maybe so, but from now on, this dimwit is on easy street. Do you always think this much? Is that bad? Not necessarily. It's just that sometimes people use thought to not participate in life. Yes.
Vintage, retro, old-fashioned, analog, antiquated, obsolete. Old shit is cooler. But why? Brian Eno can explain better than me. Whatever you now find weird, ugly, uncomfortable, and nasty about a new medium will surely become its signature. CD distortion, the jitteriness of digital video, the crap sound of 8-bit, all of these will be cherished as soon as they can be avoided. It's the sound of failure. So much modern art is a sound of things going out of control, of a medium pushing to its limits and breaking apart. The distorted guitar sound is the sound of something too loud for the medium supposed to carry it. The blues singer with the cracked voice is the sound of an emotional cry too powerful for the throat that releases it. The excitement of grainy film, of bleached out black and white, is the excitement of witnessing events too momentous for the medium assigned to record them. So turn up the volume and embrace the sounds of failure. It is me, Fred Durst, from Limp Bizkit. And who the hell are you, old man? Hello, Fred Durst, from Limp Bizkit. I am MF Doom. Your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Cheetos, Fritos, etc. Hey, old man, let's get this shit snit quit. You're a loser and a loser and I'm gonna steal your bitch. So kick rocks and flip flops before my dick gets soft. Leave real quick or suck my dick. The Infredival D has indefinitely made himself a name as a loser and a dick chewer open on my sack like you're a manly hysterectomy fuck out of my way and stay away, you gay rex and freak. Oh hey now, that's not cool. It's Pride Month now and we accept all nouns. That means gay and lesbian too, so take your antiquated and homophobic views and shove them up your ass you can't miss it because your head is there. Whoa, 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 yo, let's take this slow, bro. I never made a passing claim to discriminate or fight, yo. My words are like the cubes inside a painting of Picasso, misconstrued to you but in the truth's a new bravado. Hey, man, you just neglected the entire point of my previous statement. I only sought to educate you on the harmful precedent homophobic statements can have in today's hypersensitive, queer normalized culture. To disregard my words, it's frankly uncalled for and quite disrespectful. This good boy, you being quiet? You broke down like the GDP of Detroit. GED's what you need, trust me. Chase some bags instead of kissing those. Stop! Doom, look at it this way. You asked your fans to remember all caps when you spell the man's name. The man being you. Using the F slur to a gay person has the same impact as if someone spells your name in lowercase. Get it? I think I'm seeing the truth is more revealing breaking through my harmful mindset like a truly peeling mindset. Bro, what the fuck are you even saying anymore? Figaro Legetimo, forget about the extra dough, Sneevin' even Stevens, got me feeling like a melatonin sleepy in the head and in the bed, is my doom R.O. feed me tortellini like him living as soprano. Gay <laughs> ass motherfucker. The, the end. end. Out of the five different states I've lived in, Connecticut probably has the weirdest people I've ever met. It feels like I'm living in a purge movie. Uh, there's really no other way to explain it. It's just so odd. You can't do anything without someone being in your business. Like, it's so annoying. Just mind your own business and go on with your day like what i do does not involve you a lot of scumbags run this town how judgmental people are if somebody doesn't fit in the perfect box and people judge them to death people are just incredibly fake and don't know how to respect everybody and treat everybody the same and people act very entitled 
um, even though they are probably some of the worst people on the planet. Also, there's nothing to fucking do. I hate the left turn out of Cumbies. The underlying entitlement of the entire place. The people will stay in the road and talk for five minutes before letting you go by on your tiny side street. Everybody thinks everything is about them. And it has just this underlying darkness to it. Everything to me is gray there, regardless of how beautiful it is, how sunny of a day it is, how many people come there for vacation. It's just dark and gray and entitled and ignorant. It is one of the places with the most ignorance I have ever been. But I would be ignorant if I were to sit here and say I am not fortunately lucky to have grown up there in a place with so much wealth and such a good school system. But overall, it's it's dark in such like a hidden way. It doesn't jump out at you at first, but it's like the moms will talk shit about kids and kids will get bullied online and like, I don't know, I guess these things happen everywhere, but there's an eeriness about this place. Old racist people, there's so, so many of them, man. It's fucking 2020, get over it. What the fuck is dimwit? 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 The question that was never answered, what the fuck is it with? Well, it's a bit of everything that I've done so far. It's a playlist, it's a time capsule, it's an attempt to create when all you want to do is consume. It's plucking away at meaningless edits on your computer when everyone's asleep. It's an analog requiem, it's a time waster, it's a wasted timer, it's a platform for me to shut, not shut the fuck up on. Dimwit is nothing. Dimwit is nothing. Pussy. That was that was pussy. I mean, how can everything look cool doing this? The world consists of distractions, of people who want you to care about the things they care about. Think the way they think, dress the way they dress, so on and so forth. And it's all been said a million times before, because there's been a million other people who want you to be unclouded by this international veil of bullshit that once clouded them too. This is not to say that I know how to live an unclouded life, because I don't. It's a work in progress for me, and for everyone. But by living in the footsteps of a dimwit, learning to focus on the shit in front of you that brings you joy, real experiences, and real interactions, embracing the distortion, dead batteries, broken chargers, shitty ollies, burnt sandwiches, scraped ankles, and cold, cloudy days in May. You might find something worthwhile. Or maybe not. I'm a dip.
The Dimwit Three-Step Path Treat yourself kindly, except when you deserve it. Trust your instincts, except when your instincts suck. Ignore bullshit advice, except when it's self-aware. French fry water. The French fries got in the water. <laughs>